What's up, you guys? Welcome back to So by Gigi 101. So today I have a one month update from getting physical, and I have a haul for you guys. So let's just get into the update. So it's been one month since I actively made a decision. And I say actively because there's a difference between actively making a decision and then just making a decision. Cause you could make a decision. You could be like, yo, like I'm not trying to live my life like this anymore. But if you don't make changes, if you're not active about it, you just made a decision. And it's really up in the air when that decision comes into effect. But I've actively made a decision, meaning that I enacted it when I made the decision that I wanted to um, just be more active. Like, I wasn't down for, like, losing weight, but that just naturally happens when you become more active, I guess you could say. I don't know. So, for the month of October, I was working out and I was going to the gym and I was doing all this great stuff. Um, changing my eating habits, cooking more at home, making sure that I am eating, um, so many times a day because, you know, I had a very poor eating habit before, uh, eating once a day, which really wasn't the best. And so I made the active decision that we were going to get physical and we were going to do the right thing. So one month later, what have, what have I learned? So in case this is the first time you are ever watching one of my videos, I have body dysmorphia. I haven't been to a doctor to have it like officially diagnosed, but being that I have a master's in psychology and I've learned about all this stuff, it's pretty safe for me to know what's going on. So I have body dysmorphia, which means that um, in a nutshell, working out is not the easiest thing for me because I can become obsessive compulsive over it. I have a, a demented view of what my body looks like compared to what everybody else sees. And when I first realized I had it, I didn't know that I had it. And um, I had lost a lot of weight in a year span, just under 100 pounds in one year without trying, like it just happened. And at one point of that process, I decided that I wanted to actually make an effort to lose weight during that one year. And when I looked in the mirror, I still saw the same person from before. I didn't see my weight loss, none of that. And I gave up. So this time around, um, I wanted to just focus on being more active. I wanted to be able to walk up a flight of steps. So I found like girls having a heart attack. So I just started going to the gym and I said I was going to do three times a week minimum. Um, going to the gym and walking, just wanting to be doing more movement throughout my day. Because when you get older it's, and you are consumed with work and adulting, it's so easy to um, say I'm too tired to do whatever it is that you need to do, such as the gym, which is very important for your mental and your physical. So for October, I did it. I did minimum three days a week and I started to struggle towards the end. And we'll get into that in a second. Um, but I did it. I forced myself when I didn't want to in ways that was both great and ways that was both not so great. So there's a difference between powering through or pushing yourself to do something because you're too lazy and then there's another type of powering through or pushing through when your body is telling you absolutely not so i didn't do too much body intuitive workout in october and um as you guys know i have my journal um it's in my backpack which is propping up this camera right now but it's a sweat journal that I got from Michaels. And if you are a hand to pen documenter like I am, I've been documenting on that and that has been helping. But I did feel myself slip into the world of body dysmorphia um, a couple of times um, throughout the month of October. And the last time of October that I slipped through, I was able to pull my own self out. Um, the first time a friend had to pull me out of it because I just started off just wanting to be active and then got caught up in the fact that my body was changing and my clothes were fitting differently. 
and um, I had one goal. I just wanted to lose five pounds and I felt like I was working really hard and then I got on the scale and which I didn't know this, but I got on the scale and the scale said that I actually weighed more and that had me freaking out. And my friend was like, don't even freak out. You've only been working out for two weeks. Like the scale number is nothing. And she really talked me down. Shout out to you, Maddie. Um, and then this last time, oh, and the scale was wrong in the gym because it wasn't balanced. So I didn't gain any weight. Thank the Lord. I've not gained any weight. I've only lost, but... Um, I start to become infatuated with that, with the number. And I know everybody on YouTube says, don't worry about a scale number because it's not that important. But the one thing that we can all agree on is that the scale number is not important, but it is important because when you go to the doctor and the doctor gets you on the scale and gives you that number, that's what's going to determine if he says you're out, like you're overweight or not. And that's why it affects so many people, right? Like that number on the scale. And I know a lot of people, especially on YouTube, are all about body fat and losing that versus just regular fat. Listen, I don't know about none of that. All I know is that there are certain parts of my body that I would like to see looking different. And that's what I'm focusing on. Like, I'm not a health guru. I'm not turning into a health guru. I just wanted to walk up some steps without having a heart attack or feeling like I was dying because I felt like that was inappropriate for my age. I'm too young to feel like that. Um, but I did want to come on and just kind of like be honest about that and the and how my month went. So moving forward into November, we're now into our second month of working out. I've been hit with a new roadblock and this roadblock, not a roadblock, but like a pothole in the road. And this actually started, I would say like the last week or so of October, I was not feeling driven at all all to go to the gym and I pushed through which I was very proud of myself for doing but I just wasn't feeling driven and I didn't really know why and um I really had to step back and evaluate like why do I not feel driven what is going on right now so I realized I was getting my lady days and I was PMSing and that's why I wasn't feeling driven and I'm very competitive which is something I don't know a lot of you know about me but I'm very competitive so I have the Apple watch and you get certain awards and accolades not actual physical things but just like like awards on the watch if you have the watch you know what I'm talking about and I was getting really caught up in completing all of those things and um it was really bothering me that I couldn't complete it even though my body was saying I don't need to go to the gym so some people have rest days where they don't do anything at all for me a rest day is i'll go to the gym and walk for 30 minutes on the treadmill or i'll get on the bike for 30 minutes um an hour preferably or i'll walk around for an hour 30 minutes to an hour that's like a rest day for me but i didn't take any days where i just like let my body chill out and i think that that wasn't always the best and I think that I was sometimes forcing myself when my body was saying don't physically and mentally was saying stop and I wouldn't stop so for uh, for November I decided that I wanted to do more intuitive working out I'm just trying to figure out why he is making so much noise for November I wanted to do more intuitive working out and being more in tune with my body and listening to my body as far as a diet is concerned you guys see what I post I don't really diet for me a diet is making sure that I'm eating three meals a day I realize the importance of snacking in between those meals I'm not a snacker so for the month of November I challenged myself to try and snack some more um, and to really make sure that my body is never actually feeling hungry that was a challenge I set for myself for this month um, but I'm not big on like snacking or whatever. And I'm not like, oh, I can't eat this or, oh, I can't eat that. I just try to make sure that in a week I am eating better and making better choices 99% of the time. So like, for example, I had pizza a couple of times, um, during the month of October, 
but every time I had pizza, I always had it accompanied with a big salad and except for one time um but i always had it accompanied with a big salad and then i would always go to the gym the day that i had the pizza to work the pizza off you know what i'm saying but just to have a day where like i vegged out and ate whatever i want and not did anything i didn't have that even when i went away to ithaca because i was hiking on that whole entire trip so a final synopsis of my one month i've learned that I can persevere and I can push myself to do things, but I've also learned that I have obsessive compulsive tendencies when it comes to certain things and I need to be mindful of that along with the body dysmorphia because I do feel it is a part of having my body dysmorphia. So I need to be more aware of that and I feel like I've gotten better at being more aware of that, which helps me be more productive in my workouts. I've also not really put um so much pressure on how long i'm gonna be at the gym you know like i rather do 45 hardcore sweat it out gave it my best minutes at the gym than to be at the gym for an hour and a half knowing that i half-assed it the whole entire time so i've learned that and i've also learned and want to challenge myself to be more intuitive with my body if my body is saying no you need a break take a break um i got my lady days and it wiped me out like physically wiped me out and i just took a rest day a day where i didn't do nothing like at all at all and um i had to get past the guilt of that and just be like gg you're listening to your body your body is telling you you need to take a moment um so yeah that's the update on the gym i didn't want it to be too long i was trying to keep it under 10 minutes but you know me so let's get into the grocery portion of this because if you follow me on instagram which is omgg1989 um i post a lot of pictures of food that i make so i'm a trader joe's uh, goer thumbnail and no i'm not editing that out um but i'm a trader joe's goer and so i have my reusable bag but then i got so much that they had to give me a brown paper bag so let's get right into it so i have chopped spinach which is great to eat on its own or to add in a salad i saw this it's called the trader joe's quinoa duo with vegetable malang. i don't know it looked really really good and enticing i figured i'd give it a try never tried that before i got some carrot spirals never tried that before either and i'm not a carrot fan but you know got zucchini spirals never tried either one of these two i've had zucchini spirals i have a spiralizer so i've made my own but i figured i'd give it a try um i got another one of those quinoa things my favorite favorite vegetable has got to be broccoli i gotta eat broccoli oh, oh i dropped you wait come back i'm gonna leave that in because i'm a mess and that proves how much of a mess I really am. Wait. Bam. So I got broccoli. Um, some of these things I got double of, so I don't really see the point in showing it to you twice. Um, I got chicken breasts. And I got two things of turkey breasts, which I didn't even know was a thing. A thingity thing thing. Then I got three bags of a malang uh trios which is red yellow and green bell pepper strips already chopped up because your girl's too lazy to do it herself um i got three bags of those then i got this which is marinated grilled eggplant zucchini and red peppers already kind of done for me um i was really lazy when i was shopping <laughs> I'm a big fan of these. So this is vegetable pasta. I'm a big fan of veggie pasta and I feel like it's a great way to get veggies in if you don't eat a lot of veggies. And I always try to keep pasta on hand. Then I found this, which is organic brown rice quinoa pasta. So I'll probably give that a try tonight for dinner. And last but never least, 
I got some pesto sauce because I love pesto sauce. And normally I get the vegan cashew one because at my Trader Joe's, that's the only one that they have. But at this particular Trader Joe's, they had something called Genovia pesto. And hello, Princess Diaries. So we had to go with that one just to give it a try. So it looks like that. And that is the Trader Joe's haul and the one month update. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. You can always hit me up in my DMs on Instagram. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Loves and likes ya. Bye.